let's get to Jared Blickery at the Wi-Fi Interactive. What's going on here today, Jared? Well, I'm trying. I'm still trying to figure out what happened yesterday. Yeah. I was looking at the tape, and let's just take another look at what happened in the Nasdaq 100 yesterday. So this is a two-day view, and we just got liftoff yesterday. I was looking at the tape after the bell, and we had the highest selling pressure, or highest buying pressure that I've seen in several months. And there are a couple different ways of measuring that, but regardless, huge participation there. It was almost like panic buying. You, know, you could chalk it up to end of end of month stuff, uh, but there was a clear reaction to Powell statements. Was there anything new? I didn't think so. Uh, but nevertheless, it uh, looks like that seasonality that we've been looking for in December may be on. Uh, I got some stats in a second. This is a three-month view of the S&P 500. Here is that outsized move yesterday. You can see we are now basically at the resistance points that we had uh, prior to those October lows. Uh, but what I do want to point out here, uh, not shown, is that we closed over the 200-day moving average, more like here yesterday. Also, very important here, the U.S. dollar index, which I've been tracking, just cracked below its 200-day moving average. So if this were to continue down, that would be risk on for all kinds of uh, different reasons. And let me just go back to the S&P 500 because I have some stats here from Ryan Dietrich. And uh, let me just show you what he's, oh, excuse me there, messed that up. But uh, what he's expecting for the month of December, more bullishness. It's only the third best month of the year, but I think investors would take that. Nevertheless, we got a big employment situation report tomorrow. We got uh, CPI in a couple of weeks. We also have the Fed in a couple of weeks. So uh, lots to digest here. But here is the December historically brings jolly time for investors. Here's where it breaks down, not only in terms of since 1950, past 20 years, past 10 years, midterm years, all this good stuff means we got at least that working for us here today. And again, the big technical levels in the S&P and the dollar, those have been broken. So we'll have to see if this continues, guys. Yeah, this is Jared Blickery. Thanks so much.